Hey, hey, welcome back. Before I dive into this, and trust me, there's a lot of diving in this one, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, or else I'll be stuck here, licking my way through more awkward stories just for your amusement. So, let's talk about the up and down lick, or as I like to call it, the human metronome. You know the move. It's like I'm expected to turn into some kind of pleasure pendulum, just sweeping the tongue up and down, like I'm polishing the world's most important silverware. But I gotta say, there's something uniquely humbling about becoming a walking tongue exercise program. Forget the gym. Who needs bicep curls when you've got this? Now, they tell you consistency is key, right? And I'm over here trying to maintain the rhythm of a professional drummer. Except it feels more like I'm wiping down a foggy mirror in a steamy bathroom. Clit labia, clit labia. Am I painting a fence here or licking? Where's Mr. Miyagi when you need him, huh? Wax on, wax off, tongue up, tongue down. It's a real art form, folks. And speaking of going up and down, there's always that moment when you go too high. Suddenly, I'm nose deep in no man's land, and she's giving me that, what are you doing up there? Look, like, oops, my GPS malfunctioned. Quick, reverse, reverse. It's not like they make a map for this. And just when you think you're in the zone, she goes, Can you go faster? Faster? Lady, I'm already in high gear. This isn't a race car. It's a rental. I'm trying to keep it smooth here. But now it's feeling like an episode of Speed where Keanu Reeves is about to pop out and tell me the stakes. All right, folks. So remember, the up and down lick might feel like a tongue marathon. But hey, no one ever said pleasure was easy. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, or I'll be stuck here, polishing mirrors for life.